Joe Mama's hiding out in the shipwreck past the sewers. But to get in the sewers, you gotta talk to the sewer worker. And man, does that boy stink! Woo! Those currents are too strong to swim through. You gonna switch off that damn current? Uh, Alright, I'm switching it off. Don't get your boxers all bunched up. Okay, can you boys all hear me? Good! Now get your asses to work excavating that ship. And if anyone tries to get in your way, we'll make them regret it. That's a bagging them good. Oh. What's up, Frosty Bros? Welcome back to Odd World Stranger's Wrath. It is currently part five, and in the last episode, we beat Joe Mama up, bagged her, tagged her, threw her in jail all in the same day. Uh, we went and sent her to jail, same day shipping. Yeah, that's what we did to Joe Mama. We beat her up. But now, we're ready for another bounty, because of course, we uh, still need that good... 20k if we want to get with doc who's being a clown wanting us to do 20 grand for our surgery but of course we got ourselves another bounty here as you can see we uh captured joe mama alive we also uh saved you genius who is a bit of a jerk but now we got meekly mcgraw on the list so yeah this is gonna be interesting Alright, so let's see what uh, we want Meagly McGraw for. Oh, Meagly McGraw. Meagly. Okay, how am I supposed to read that? Oh, Meagly likes them apples. I heard he's been seen at the uh, farm right before town. Wait, the apple farm. We kind of raided that place. I sure hope we didn't have an opportunity for Meagly to show up. Let's take this assignment and see what we can learn. The bounty is Meagly McGraw. He's holed up in the storage room of the farmhouse, counting his loot. Hm. You're going to have to find a way into the house, then take him out. You know, it won't be easy with all the outlaws he's got holed up in the house with him. Now, sounds like we got ourselves trouble in a familiar place. We've been to the Oppa Farm before. Time to go back to Oppa Farm, which is quite a trot away. I do like how we just run on all fours like this, though. If you know, you know, but uh, the stranger doesn't exactly have four legs well he doesn't exactly have four limbs that he runs on when he does this so anyways I'm just gonna leave that at that for y'all's imagination let's just say Ava may have been correct with something and may have uh, actually figured something out that you're not supposed to know right now and uh oh Dear Lord, this place is a dump compared to when I was last here. Okay, so. Now, don't none of you idiots let no one on the farm, you hear me? Ain't that a double negative? Mm. I heard that! Oh my god, so Meagly is just a joke, and even the outlaw. <laughs> Ain't that a double negative? <laughs> that is actually hilarious. Yeah, I, uh, I love good old grammatical jokes like that. Anyways, so it looks like we got ourselves a whole slew. And of course these guys, they, uh, they think they own this place, so... I think it's time we uh, pick these guys off Metal Gear Solid style, show them who really owns this place because we kind of took over whenever Beak was 
renovated, so... Alright, so now... We got all these outlaws searching around. Gotta get hidden before they spot us again. Alright, so we grabbed one. Now, gotta find another vantage point. Alright, so if I get over there... Alright, so I can run this all the way over here. And, oh... You know, Beak is gone. I already killed him. So that right there... That right there might be one of the... Uh, his daughters, which uh, sucks for her, sitting over there on that spit. These outlaws truly are ruthless. Anyways, let's just knock this guy out, grab this bounty. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, so we got someone investigating, so that's not good. Alright, got another person over here. Alright, run inside. Ooh, this is actually kind of tense, honestly. I'm trying to take this place out stealthily. Here, you know what? It's been a while since I've used some chick punks, but, uh, you know, time to get the crew out, so let's see here. I know we got some cover up here, so we can probably use this to our advantage. So if I just get some cover right here, let's see here. So we got Doofus and Dingus over there. Got another Doofus coming around here. <laughs> And we got, we got spotted. Okay, okay, okay. That one was still broken from when I last broke it, so. All right, let's go ahead and shake off. All right. There we go. All right, so now... Uh-oh. All right, so we got a whole slew of enemies. Alright. Alright, I'm missing like crazy. Either that, or these guys are actually good at dodging, but considering that these guys are outlaws and not, oh god, anything actually ruthless, like Sligs or Warvels, um... I'm probably just bad at aiming. Okay, but seriously, it seems like these guys are just dodging. Thank goodness for, uh, infinite ammo, though. Oh, so if I take out everyone here, he's going to show up himself. Now, ain't that just mighty fine? And you know what? It just so happens that I have a very good vantage point right here. And yeah, these guys, 
Yeah, I wonder. If I just sit here, eventually they'll either give up or just run over. And I mean, they all just ran right up to me. Oh my. Wow. Meagly, your men are actually strong. Well, I hope your fight is at least half as strong as your men. Woo, try that again. Oh lord. Yeah, tell you what. We're gonna definitely have the chip punk out. We're definitely gonna have to try this, this stealthy route. So, first this guy. Alright, so we knock you out. Run over as quickly as possible. Grab you. And we're gonna have to rush over here. We're gonna have to knock you over this way. Grab you. Alright. Now. Make sure we have plenty of skunks. Don't need them because Lord knows we need them. Make sure we got plenty of There we go. Bolomites. Come on, Bolomite. Man, these Bolomites. There we go. Alright, we're full on Bolomites. Okay, cool. Well, with that being the case. I know we can probably Alright, so. Alright, we're going to have to try and think about this. So these guys are going to walk through. And let's see here. Yeah, I like how they're just having their great conversation of, Man, this job sucks. Yeah, right. Like, what a conversation. Alright, so. Alright, tell you what. Let's shoot. One of these guys. Alright. Alright, so I've just been spotted. But let's see how long it takes them before they... Oh. They're so running over. Alright. You know, abusing AI like this is honestly just mean. No way. Did I just... I just lost them. Oh my god, they're searching. How? Half? Hang on, I did half just like that? Ain't no way. And of course, this guy went out for trolling the deep end, so I can just easily nab him. Alright, and I can of course... Grab this guy. Oh my god, am I actually doing this this way? Holy crap! No freaking way I just did all that. Yeah, I'm taking your gang out. And just like that, there's you gone. Bruh. That guy stared straight at me and he didn't even care. You know, honestly... 
honestly, I feel for him. I think he just, it wasn't him not caring. It was him being smart. He knew either, either he would catch me and get knocked out like that, or he would not see me and be safe. And just like that, we're getting some more guys. Grab us some more moolah. And we got an entry point there. So let's run. So of course, us running, that gets them to know where we are. Oh. Okay. There we go. Alright. So let's see how many dots we got all left on the radar. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we got seven people left, it looks like, seven more outlaws. So now the way we're going to have to do this, let's see how many. We got five chip punks left. There we go. Alright. Just like that. Took that guy out. Alright, so there's you. Alright. Alright, so let's see here. We got another one, two, three, four, five. All right, so we got five left. I just nabbed two of them. All right, and we got more. Are they all going to start spreading out and try to go over here? If, if they actually do that, holy crap, we'll actually be able to bag meanly, like right now, and actually stealthily too. <laughs> Bro, this is actually, hang on, if I actually, if you stand out like that, you can actually use your detection against them because they'll go looking for you. So he's going to run over here and be like, yeah, I saw someone run over here. So now... Oh, he was just out of range. But now, since he spotted me. Come on, boys! Don't let me down! Don't you make me have to come out there myself! So he sees me. Come on. Oh my god. Did, are you serious? That guy was standing two feet in front of me. Two feet in front of me. What was that? Alright, there we go. Another one bagged. The fact that I'm doing most of this all by melee. Oh, I'm sorry. Was that too much for you? <laughs> oh my god, you got two left. Two left. They're just all rushing out here to try and find me. Oh my god, another one's coming. He's running along. He heard where the boys were going to eat, and... Oh my god. Alright, so... There's one outlaw left now let's take a look at this place before we infiltrate it so yeah my suspicions were correct this here is definitely a clacker and considering that there were only the worker hands and 
the daughters. Yeah, probably shouldn't have killed Meek. Shouldn't have killed him. Because, yeah. These outlaws, they ain't even finish them. Alright, well, time to break into the bathroom area. Let's go ahead and rummage around. So we got one outlaw sitting up here. I see a silhouette. He's hiding somewhere. I have one thud slug. I'm actually going to go grab more thud slugs real quick because I'm going to want to have thud slugs for when, uh, for when we do this fight. And I mean, we got all these thud slugs just sitting out here, so may as well restock. So now we're all restocked. And you know what? I know we're probably going to get a quick save before the fight, but just there, just in case. Let's make sure we're nice and stealthy. We got this one last out. He probably doesn't even know what's about to hit him. Oh, well, he does now. Yeah, come out, Meagly. Come on out, Meagly. I knows you're up here. You ready for us, stranger? Dead or alive, your ass is coming with me. Why? Come on, Tiny! Let's take him down! Alright, so we got Tiny up here. And, oh lord, he is resistant. Okay, so... Alright, let's get some of these guys on him. Because it looks like all we can hit him with is... Oh lord. All we can hit him with is damage, so... Let's see here. Um. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and heal up. All right. Of course, that's all the thud slugs we got. We ain't... You know? Alright. We got a few. And I mean... They ain't doing much. There we go. Alright. It's just Meagly. Come here, Meagly! Well, where are you running, Meagly? Are you afraid? Oh, I'm sorry. Am I scaring you, Meagly? I'm sorry, but is this bullying? Do you miss Tiny? Are you mad that I killed your best friend? Yeah, you're coming with me. <laughs> yeah, that's how you slam the boys. <gasps> Oh, that felt like bullying. Oh, that was bully. <laughs> oh, I kind of feel bad, but you know what? After he cooked a clacker like that, I don't feel bad. <laughs> that was 100% deserved. I I'm sad that I couldn't bag Tiny, too. He kind of just feels like he was just brought into it against his will. And I mean, may as well shatter one more window just like that. And I avenged you, whoever you are. I may have killed your father, but hey, I avenged you. Uh, oh, and of course, I 
I actually used up all the thud slugs doing that too. Well, time to turn this bounty in. I'm probably not going to have that much left to do in that town. But hey, we did what we could. Oh. Yeah, so. We got clackers dead on the ground. Those were probably the workers, so. Yeah, it's very possible that the daughter was the one there being cooked. Ugh. Poor Apple Farm. But hey, we we tagged, we bagged old Meagly. Alright, now to slam this guy. Oh my god. Hey now, it ain't my fault y'all were on the road. <laughs> Man, I love messing with clackers. It's a fun pastime. At the same time? Well, that's just... Well, that's impressive. Yeah. All right. So now, we saved Eugenius. We beat Joe Mama up. We tagged Meagly... We bullied Meagly McGraw. Let's face it. And now we got Pack Rat Paluk. Paluka. Pack Rat Paluka. Oh dear, I think I remember this boss as a kid. Pack Rat is bringing back some nasty memories. He was a pain in the arse. Yeah, he loved using the environment to his advantage, and he was. Oh, he's a pain, for sure. Definitely will make Meagly look like nothing. But of course, we got ourselves a bag, we got ourselves a tag. I guess we can head on over to the general store, see if they got new upgrades, or if we can just buy some more stuff, because, yeah, would be nice to refill. And I mean, we already got like, uh, how do I see what money I, let's see what moolah I got. I already got 7,000. Oh, that's far from... That's far from what we need. So let's go ahead and buy... All the... All the... Stuff I can. So, yeah. Alright. Alright, so there's all that. Ooh, armor? Brass knuckles. Add some punk spunk to your punches. Ooh. Yo, I want to get me some brass knuckles. That would be fun. And, ooh. Stamina regenerator? This is a low-end boost that lets you get your stamina quick faster? Yes, I need stamina. That's for sure. Stamina booster increases your overall stamina. I mean, it's it's just a no-brainer, really. Now, speeds up, uh, speed up thud slug reload. That's definitely good. And I guess puzzle reload, just so I can, you know, have that ammo bag. Let's you hold even more ammo. And now we can hold even more ammo. So let's see how much more. Oh yeah, I can hold some more. So... That is one heck of a refill. Alright, so now... We got 23 fuzzles. 15 chimp punks. 15 bolomite skunks. We got 15 thud slugs, 9 boom bats, and 599 sting bees. We are loaded. And we have brass knuckles, so we can just walk up to dudes like this and just whack! And it sends them even farther. And of course we have even more... 
Yeah, we have even more stamina now, so we can just definitely deal with all these upgrades, that's for sure. And I mean, yeah, we just used a bunch of Bula we could save up, but hey, we're making a lot of extra by bagging all these alive bounties, so yeah. And I think that could be a good place to wrap things up, actually. So in the next episode, we're going to deal with old uh, Pack Rat, hey. but uh, I think that's going to be a good place to wrap things up for this episode. So this has been your bro, Frostbrew, and I think I'll catch you all in the next one. <gasps> Later!